Good day, my wonderful students. I want to welcome you to another cultural class. This morning, today, we're looking at cultural practices. Cultural practices. When you talk about cultural practices, from the word culture, it's a way of life. In agriculture, our plants too have a way of life. The way of life of annual crop is when from biennial crop, and that likewise that of what? Perennial crops. So what, uh, what are cultural practices? Cultural practices basically are methods in which an agriculturist operates his or our firm from land preparation to the processing stage so that what highest productivity can be achieved. So that what highest productivity can be achieved. That is from land preparation to what to the processing stage such that what the farmer can have highest productivity is what cultural practice is all about. That is from the beginning to the end of a particular crop. For example, same means from the time of land preparation to the time of harvesting and to storage. Cultural practices can be categorized into three major areas, which are pre-planting operation, planting operation, and post-planting operation. Pre-planting operation, these are operations that the farmer carry out before planting, the operation carried out before planting, and the post-planting operations are the operations the farmer carries out after planting. After planting. Pre means before, post means after planting. Now, in sequential order, pre-planting operations follow this format. One, you do your site selection, what you want to plant. You have to visit the site, look at the area, look at the soil texture. After that, you go on to what your land clearing, whereby all the weeds and grasses on the land are removed. Then stumping is another operation carried out under pre-planting, whereby the roots of the trees that were removed on the soil are removed totally such that what, it will be easy for the roots to penetrate, which we may have, for example, if you want to plant maize and there are trees there, or you want to plant yam, the root of existing trees can affect your yam production. So you need to carry out what we call stumping, removal of the roots. Number three, after you have removed the roots, you pack all the debris, all the grasses to one spot, then you carry out what we call controlled burning. Not just bush burning, but what? Controlled burning. After you have done your control burning, then you map out your land. In mapping out, you decide where you want to plant your maize, for example, and, and the other crops. So you map out your farmland strategically so that what you can achieve highest productivity. So your mapping out is very, very important in order to achieve what highest productivity, which is our goal. After you have mapped out, then you you will not carry out another operation which you call plowing. Plowing. Plowing is the breaking up of the soil. So that it will be easy for the plants to, to it will be easy for planting to carry out. Then after you have plowed the land, you can use it, you can do it manually or um, mechanically. That is use of tractor, where you attach the plower to the back of the tractor, the, the plow, and the plowing will be done. Then we carry out region making of ridges on the soil. You can use a tractor or you can also do it manually with the use of the hoe. The second operation, immediately after you have carried out all this in sequential order, then you move on to your, your planting stage. After you have planted, you need to know your seed rate, which is the quantity of seed you want to plant per hectare of land. Then you carry out your weeding, you we, these are plants that grow in a place you don't want, right? And such plants are regarded as a weed. So, for example, if you are planting a maize farm and you find the watermelon there, that watermelon is regarded as a weed. So you remove the watermelon, um, the watermelon or the water leaf, any other plant apart from what you what you planted on the land. And you may also you can also apply fertilizer depending on the soil pH or how fertile the soil is. And that's in the fertilizer application. These are some of the activities we carry out after planting. Then what are the activities we carry out after you have planted? One, after you are through with this stage, you move on to what? To harvesting. 
you harvest your produce. After you have harvested your produce, you process it. For example, if it is cassava you have planted, after harvesting, you peel the back of the cassava. After you have peeled, you grind, then you soak, then you uh, leave it for a while to ferment. Then that is. Then after that, you fry, and your gari is ready for drinking or for making um, swallow in form of eba in your land or uh, akbu in the Igbo land. Then you go on to your what your advertising. You advertise your produce. Advertisement or advertising is, that is another post-planting operation that farmers carry out. So that what farmers can so that people who are not aware of the produce you have can become informed. And you that's what advertising is all about. And this can be done via the television or in print, in form of newspaper, etc. So it becomes uh, um, your customers become aware of the produce that you have, then it will encourage your sales. And by so doing, you will be able to harvest, you will be able to make your money. And in summary, you will achieve your results. And as a farmer, you will be smiling to the bank. And that is all what cultural practices is all about. Thank you.